the marine litter issue is not a new phenomenon. It has been widely researched, documented, and broadcast. We have acknowledged the issue, and many changes are taking place. Locally in Devon, there is strong community action, with plastic-free communities and business evolving rapidly. It is now time that we recognise the importance of our local efforts. If I went back to the 70s, I mean, one was talking about, you know, how long has this been a problem? And in the 70s, plastic pollution that really impacted wildlife was even then very apparent. Plastic on the beaches has probably been there since we started using plastic because the amount of plastic we're using nowadays, everything is plastic. And unfortunately, it's not just the way we use plastic, the most critical thing is how we dispose of plastic. Uh, and if you dispose of it irresponsibly, I'm afraid it then goes into the environment. And if it goes into the environment, it's probably going to be hanging around for years, decades, or even longer. One has to say that there are certain elements of society, and the fishing industry isn't particularly good at this. They use an awful lot of plastic and a lot of, use, a lot of damaging plastic insofar as like, think things like fishing nets. Now, you can lose a lot of fishing net accidentally at sea, but there tends also to be a habit, I'm afraid, of jettisoning too much plastic into the sea from that particular industry. Unfortunately, you'd also see the tragic cases of where the birds become entangled in their own nesting material and were literally hanging dead from their own nests. That was a very common sight, even back 30, 40 years ago. I mean, it really is, it's, it's like watching a tragedy unfold in front of your eyes. It's been, it's been one of these things, I think, that creeps up on us. It's been noticed for probably, you know, years or decades, but suddenly, of course, it hits public perception. It's all about education, but it's whether people can start switching and the speed at which they can switch. And you can't necessarily just flip over to where we were, you know, 50 years ago. Um, society's moved on. Society is totally dependent at the moment on plastic. It will take a lot of education and a lot of economic shift before we get away from that. I'm Erin and I'm 10. I'm Ailish and I'm seven. I like the beach because it's nice and hot and good, a place to sunbathe. Sometimes we get ice cream and hot chocolates. We found um, a plastic bottle. Wrappers and sticks. Yes, and there was some like weird cloth things. Turtles think plastic bags are dirty fish, so they eat them and get ill. It makes me feel like people just don't care anymore. It makes me feel sorry for the bird, the dolphins and the whales. If we leave litter, it will go back into the sea and it will get polluted. I will look after the beach by picking up my rubbish. So I decided to take on the role as a Southwest rep for Surfs Against Sewage as it gave me the huge opportunity to lead action. The charity places the public with a responsibility to tackle marine litter. It completely fills you with a self-motivation. I mean, we need the ocean. We forget that up to 70% of the oxygen we breathe is produced by marine plants. And anything we put into the ocean, like plastics, will inevitably work their way up our food chain. A lot of um, ocean conservation and campaigning is based on the horrific images of wildlife stuck in marine litter sources. And although that's extremely powerful, we need that. We need to remember that we can also motivate people through uplifting them and showing them how easy it is to make a change and how easy it is to lead action. The younger generation is the key to an optimistic future. They're all so enthusiastic and they all want to learn and they want to help. 
we just need to empower them to, to show that they, they can make a difference and that they can make small changes or influence change. They are the generation to influence change. They are the ones that need to change things for their future. We could just prove that it's easy to act and it's easy to make a change. It's easy to protect the ocean if we want to. It's just whether we want to or not. The ocean has a very optimistic future. We need to stay positive and we need to celebrate our successes. But we've got to realise that it's completely useless to have a few people who act perfectly. Whilst if hundreds of our population could make an imperfect effort, our future and the ocean's future would be far more optimistic. This year, Surface Against Sewage has acted as a strong driver of ocean conservation across the UK and hosted the largest ever Big Spring Beach Clean event with over 45,000 volunteers removing over 71 tonnes of plastic pollution. Devon is one example of how community efforts can transform social attitude, education and business. If we scale this local action across a nation, we can optimistically determine a long-term, large-scale reduction to marine litter. From talks, workshops, to campaigns, from sustainable paddleboards with algae eco-features, long-term bikinis with recycled nylon, to large-scale litter-picking events, our human impact at a community scale is undeniable and crucial, and we have the opportunity to become the breakwaters of society. We must keep up the pressure.